Hello, everyone. In this chapter, we are going to cover a feature that I use the most in Clip Studio Paint because I not only use it for digital art, I use it for my traditional art. Let's go to Window on the top, and Material, then Material 3D. This is going to open up the Material folder within your Material palette. Now let's expand this by clicking on the little arrow. And then body type is the one that we are looking for. Therefore, that should be automatically preloaded into your default Clip Studio Paint. We will pick the first one and then simply drag it into the canvas. And now we just click on the arrow on the top right to minimize it again. To navigate this posable 3D model, we're going to use the Tool Property Palette. But since there is a lot of information, let's drag this out and then put it somewhere on your canvas. Then let's just use the corner and then expand it. In order to manipulate the 3D models that is within the Clip Studio Paint, you will need to use the Object Tool that is under Operation it's the third icon down. And from here, you can simply click on the 3D model using the object tool. You will see the different dots show up on the limbs and torso. You can drag, click and drag these dots. Or click the dot and simply use the bars to rotate. I'm using this blue bar to kind of give it a little bit of sass. And then I can use this dot to control where he's looking. From the tool property panel, you can click on the change body shape, the plus line over here to expand and give you more option. And you can use this bar or the plus sign to drag it around to change the body shape of your model. You can also select certain body types by using the little figure here. Let's say I want to give him like a wider shoulder, wider hip, muscular legs, uh, that's maybe a little bit too long. <laughs> but you can use this to customize and decide however you want your model to look. You can even change the head to body ratio. Let's say you want the head to be really big, nobody is going to stop you. But let's just keep it for now. And then you can expand, apply light source using this icon here and then the one on the bottom, light source. You can use the light source tab to change the light source on your model. It doesn't even stop there because if you click on the drop down menu, you can enable the second directional light by clicking on the eye icon. So this will give you a secondary lighting that you can change the color to. So now you have one light source, but we can add a second one by clicking on the expand menu on the 3D model list. We will enable it by clicking on the square and then selecting directional light 2. And now this is going to give you control for the secondary light, which we can call it the rim light. But to make it a little bit more obvious, let's click on the plus sign again and select a different color by pressing on the color bar. So you will see we have a white light and we also have a backlit. You can always go back to the model selection or the model menu by clicking on the drop down menu again and selecting the model.
And from here, you can always use your pen to select the very details and do your fine tunings on your posing. This can go all the way down to individual finger joint. If you want to do that easily, you can click on the plus sign for pose and choose different hand position. For example, if you want a fist, you can see the hand is slightly changing to the position that you want, or you can expand it if you want the whole palm to be open and just drag it down again to close it. There is so much you can do with a 3D model. You can use the top to navigate the camera control and fine tune your posing by clicking on each individual joint. You can also go into pose and there are a ton of different presets that come with Clip Studio Paint. So let's say we want a different pose, like a straight left pose. You simply select that and then drag it onto him. There you go. Let me close this again, just so we can see it a little bit closer. We can now use the angle used by clicking on the plus sign to expand it and you can force the perspective to be higher. You know how we always struggle with foreshortening? This is what will save our lives. <laughs> so if you don't want the models to all be foreshortened, if you want to have a very exaggerated pose, we are going to go back to the original position and let's scroll down and enable Manga Perspective by clicking on Manga Perspective. And you can see this one only exaggerates the first thing or the closest thing that is to us. I will turn this. This is before and that's after. Before and after. Very useful tool. It will take a little bit of time to get used to. It does have a steep learning curve but I try to incorporate this into all of my workflows and bit by bit, I became more and more familiar with the usage. Now I'm able to quickly put multiple characters into the same plane using the same perspective so I can decide on their height and use them as a base for my illustration. And once you master it, you can also create relatively complex references for your characters. So instead of wasting a lot of time on the internet trying to find the perfect pose, you can just create them yourself. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to show what can be done in Clip Studio Paint and I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching.